Hey, Chris Line 21 here. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different that I haven't done before. I am going to do a um, basically a strategy deck. And depending on what your variant is, depending on what you've chosen, um, if you've chosen to go for Beetle, if you're going pure synchro or anything, Right now, I'm gonna be. I have to do it with my deck because I don't have any other Inferni deck. Um, so we'll just go through it, and this will also show um, how consistent and how inconsistent. I will tell you how many times I've made this video. So far, this is the second time I made the video because my deck was inconsistent. I got a dead hand where I had Inferni Archfiend and Stygian with. Four other tra spell and trap cards. Two MSTs, one torrential tribute, and a judgment. I couldn't get my um, uh, key playoff in two turns. So, yeah. The, but before we get into all that, I'm going to show you the main four cards that you'll have in your extra deck. The main cards that any Inferno deck right now will have. And those four are Lava Chain, Void Ogre, Inferno Doom Dragon, and missed one. These four are basically guaranteed spots. Now, depending on what variant you are running, depending will depend on what number. If you want to go for a Void Ogre OTK, you got a chance you'll run two or three Void Ogres. But most of the time, you will only run one Doom Dragon, which I get. But then it's like he's such a good card. I love Void Ogre, or I love Doom Dragon. I love the artwork over um, Void Ogre, just because it's an like awesome beast. I mean, it's just so cool. But then it's like, you only need one. You don't, I mean, you, the only way that you can't get him back is if they judgment him, which they won't. Which, even if they do, good chance you'll have enough set up to where you can barrier it. Where if they don't, where if you can't, you know. But it's just all of this. These are the main four that you can have. I mean, if you want, you can run this, or Catastrophe, or both. You can run Photon, you can run My Stroke, you can run the Loop, you're going to be running 100 Eyes. Not all, not all Inferno Deaths run 100 Eyes. Um, the, in the Beetle Builds, these Beetle Builds don't run um, 100 Eyes, just because it's not necessary. Like Beetle Bills will also run Gaia Knight because Gaia Knight is a great level six to use. I mean, honestly, I honestly think that Beetle Bills should um, run a level six that can't be bottomless. That way, the only thing they can do is warning it. That way, you have a better chance of going off. But then it's like, these are like cards that you'll use, but the main four are these. You'll see these in just about every. Um, Inferno deck. This one's a new addition, just like this one was at the beginning of the year. This one's broken. This Void Ogre, that, there's a reason why people um, go triple Void Ogre or double Void Ogre, then go Inferno Doom Dragon. That way, they sync Rose Summoned, got all of their barriers, got this, got so they basically have three barriers, two Void Ogres. So basically, I'll negate any spell or trap that I can, then I'll use my barriers. Or if I was playing agents, I would have basically used my barrier instead of this, because I knew they would have that. But one thing I could have done was use this effect, then use barrier. Well, but whatever. These are the main four that you're going to be using in any in front of your deck. These four will be used a lot. So as, what time am I at? I'm at four minutes. All right. So hopefully by turn two, I will have Void Ogre and Infernity Doom Dragon out on the field. Um, that is basically my key strategy. That is basically all that I try to do. Um, I have those two out. Then I just try to control the field. Um, I'm just trying to do a control build, not an OTK build. I can OTK. I can. 
I've done it before. I mean, it's not that hard. I mean, I run Mirage. I can easily get three synchros out, um, then blast you for 1,900. Or nine, not 19, 9,000. Don't know why I was thinking that. But yeah, I'm just shuffling up my deck. Nothing special. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. Just shuffling the deck. Which is probably getting very boring right now. But I just want to make sure to emphasize it. This is not set up. Alright. Let's hopefully I have... Because since this is not a finished build, I will have dead hands. So, Arc Fiend. Somewhat good, depending on what we have next. Monster Reborn. Call the Haunted. Phoenix Chain. And a reinforcement of the army. Now, let's see what our we draw for turn. Bottomless trap hole. Now, right now, we have actually a fair a fairly good setup. Let's activate reinforcement of the army. And this is one reason why um re or, uh, I'll, I'll tell you in a second. That's why Armageddon Knight is pretty good in an Avenger build. It's because you want to be able to get all your stuff off. Um, right now, I mean, I could easily do a setup right now, but it wouldn't do me much good because I don't have all the stuff that I need. I mean, I could do countless things right now, but because of what I have in my hand, because I drew this, I think I had Ar Armageddon Knight. You could go for Dark Greffer. I mean, especially since you have Monster Reborn. Go, gar go Dark Greffer, activate Monster Reborn, special summon this, add maybe your Avenger or something. Get then you either sync for a 5 or a 9. But what I'm going to do is a little bit different. Summon it. And because of what I'm gonna do, I'm going to add a or send side Set these. Banish side Special summon. Use effect. Add a necromancer. This is in our hand. See? For bubble chain, use bubble chain's effect. Now, I could send another side chain. I could send my other side chain since I run two. But right now, that probably wouldn't be the best option. Because what I would do is, what you could do is special summon this, get that special summon, then what would you add? So, what I'm going to do is something a little bit different. If my thinking is right, I basically doing it just like I would do it in an actual little thinking. What would I want to, to do? Do I want to send a card or add a card? Hmm. I am not 100% sure. Because hmm. I got Bottomless, Monster Reborn, Call of the Haunted, and that. And I could... Hmm. hmm. I'll set it for next turn. by sending an Avenger to the grave. And this will be the end of my turn. I'll leave it like this. The reason I didn't do the second side chain is mainly because a lot of you don't run two side chains. I kind of want to do it in a general 
instead of what my deck is. Um, so yeah, I end my turn. They go. I have a mo bottomless, monster born, call of haunted, and a Phoenix chain. So let's say they're going off. I activate bottomless shuffle and stop them. Now it's my turn. I draw a card. And I draw an archfiend. This couldn't have happened at the worst time. Having both of these in my hand means it's going to be very difficult to do what I was planning on doing. But either way, I can still do it. I'll normal summon Archfiend, or normal summon um, Necromancer. Still have this, so I can't use it as a fat. I'll detach this. Descend. my other sergeant because I just drew an archwing. I have to do this so I can do what I want to do. Banish it. Special summon. Use the effect. Add launcher. I mean, in this way, it actually have worked out a little bit better. Use necromancer's effect. Special summon that. And this is turn two. At, in this situation, I'll go Void Ogre. Use Launcher. Special. Special. Use Archfiend's Effect to add Barrier. Use Effect. Special Summon. Doom Dragon. And I can keep going from here because I can activate Call of Haunted, Special Summon this, or better yet, Special Summon Archmean, add a break, set it. I have five back row now. It consists of Phoenix Chain, Monster Reborn, so basically what I can do is ask it Moss Reborn. Special summon this. Get another search. Add my other break. It goes to the grave. I can set it. And I can see. And right there. I mean, that's basically what my deck is meant to do. So that's actually pretty good. It only took me two tries to be able to get those out. So that I would say this is actually a rather consistent deck. Um, and that's also, in this situation, the two side unit saved me because I could use Bobble Chain to send the other one to be able to special summon the Archfiend, grab a launcher, activate Necromancer's effect to special summon the Avenger that I sent last turn. So... That's basically how this deck works. Well, at least my build. I mean, the two side you, you will draw this card. You will get this card in your hand. Um, whether you want it or not. I mean, if you don't want it in your hand, run it at one. If you are uncomfortable with this at two, if you're uncomfortable drawing this first turn, run it at one. That's why I run Mirage at one. The reason I run Mirage at one is because Mirage, I don't like getting this first turn. If I get this first turn, it really messes me up on my plays. Because I don't rely on Mirage anymore. Where I used to. And drawing Mirage first turn wasn't a big deal. Where now it is, since I don't rely on this card anymore. I mainly rely on just, I mean, Launcher. And that's it. I mean, because... These are the only two. I'm not trying to OTK them. I'm trying to do a control variant. So therefore, I just need these two out. And then maybe have these and just control them for two turns. That way I can whittle down the life points. So I can pop this, tap directly. Pop, tap directly. Pop, tap directly. That's really it. 
I mean, I do that for two turns, and good chance they're going to die. So, yeah. This is Chris on 21. Um, this is my somewhat, well, hopefully informative um, video about strategy. This is really what my deck is supposed to do. These are just there. I mean, having Call of Haunted, I run it too. Drawing that um, didn't really make too much difference. I mean, I could have, I've had both of these either way. Um, just allowed me to exceed one more time. That's really it. I mean, only thing that I had to have was this. That's really all that I had to have. This setup. Feel a sink. Get that. The special summon the other one. That's all I really need. I do. I'm here for controlling the field. I'm not there for uh, blasting them with nine. 9,000 attack in one turn. So yeah, let's see what I'm at. Alright, I'm not at too long. Um, I really hope you guys found this entertaining or informative. Um, if not, oh well. Um, I will try to do something on um, Dueling Network for those of you that uh, like the Beetle Bill. Um, I'll just have to adjust my beetle build on there for, um, because since I, I've learned a lot since I played beetle, and I'll adjust it to fit what I know now. Um, so yeah, this is Crystalline21, um, I hope you enjoyed, peace.